Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you how to make yummy and delicious chicken pizza. So first we are going to be activating our yeast. So for that I have taken 1 cup of full fat milk. So I am going to add 1 cup of milk to my mixing bowl. So here I have 1 and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast. Half teaspoon of sugar and now we are going to mix everything together. And we are going to cover this and let it rest for about 5 minutes. So this is the first step of our dough process. We are going to we'll be activating our yeast and then resting it and add our flour and we're going to knead it and again leave it for about one hour. I'll be back after the yeast activates. So after five minutes, the yeast has been activated nicely. It should look like this. So our yeast has been activated very nicely. Now let's prepare the dough. Here I have one cup of maida which is all purpose flour. I'm going to add one cup of maida. Now I'm going to give this all a very good mix. So we're going to knead it. You should bring it to a very soft dough. Here I have about 1 tablespoon of oil. I'm going to add half tablespoon for now. This dough should be a little sticky. Now add the other half tablespoon of oil and give this all a very good mix and bring this to a nice sticky dough. So now we are going to rest this dough for about one hour. It should double in size. So I'll be back after one hour. So it's been about one hour and more. Can you see? My dough is doubled in size. So now what I'm going to do is assemble it in my baking tray. So I greased my baking tray with butter. Now what I'm going to do is just take a ball of dough in my hand. And use some oil because it might stick. So I'm going to take a good amount of dough in my hand. And I'm going to press it out and shape it. In, in You can do whatever shape you want. I'm just going to go for a normal circle. So just press it out and bring it to a good pizza base. So, if you want, you can make it very thin if you like a thin crust pizza. But I'm going to go a little thick and not too thick and not too thin because again the, the yeast dough will rise. So, I'm just going to go for medium thickness. So, now after making the base... I'm going to take some tomato ketchup. So, if you have ready-made pizza sauce or anything, you can use. But I'm going to be using tomato ketchup and I'm going to be combining two sauces. Tomato ketchup 
tomato ketchup and red chili sauce. And I'm going to use a spoon and spread it out. So since I told you I'm making a chicken pizza today. So I'm going to be using mozzarella cheese. That is pizza cheese. So I'm going to put a good amount of cheese on the base. So now here I've taken some chicken sausages. If you want, if you have a fried chicken, you can even pinch that. And add it but I've chopped some chicken sausages and I'm going to decorate it with some chicken sausages So you can add, if you want, veg pizza, you can add some capsicum, onion, mushroom, corn or if you want any more toppings, you can add. So here is our pizza, it's ready to bake. Now I'm going to bake this in 250 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. I'll be back after it's baked. So our pizza is finally ready. Take a look at this. The cheese has melted so nicely and the crust is even puffed up. So let's garnish it with some chili flakes. And I'm going to garnish with some oregano. You can use any seasoning of your choice. But today I'm only adding oregano and some chili flakes. Now I'm going to cut a slice. So can you see the cheese pull? Oh my god, it looks so yummy. So I'm going to taste it for you. So our uh, yummy and delicious pizza is done. The taste is so amazing. Can you see the cheese pull? So you should definitely try out this recipe for the weekend. Oh, it's, and it's very healthy too. So I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you give this recipe a try. And share it with your loved ones. I'll see you all in a new video. Until then. Bye bye.